Welcome to another lecture guys. So Achilles tendon rupture. Achilles tendon uh, rupture is one of the important topics that you need to learn about your uh, exams. So let's have a look. Okay, so what is an Achilles tendon first? Achilles tendon is basically a band of tissue that connects a muscle to a bone. That's what a normal tendon is. So an Achilles tendon is the tendon which runs down the back of the lower leg and connects the calf muscle to the heel bone also called as a heel cord or the Achilles tendon the, it facilitates walking by helping to raise the heel off the ground okay so what is tendinosis and tendinitis is basically inflammation of the tendon is called tendinitis and tendinosis is degeneration of the tendon but we're talking about Achilles tendon rupture and a rupture is a complete or a partial rupture that occurs when it is stretched beyond its capacity okay so tendinosis and tendinitis can lead to Achilles tendon rupture however acute rupture are usually due to forceful jumping or pivoting and sudden accelerations and running uh, which overstretch the tendon and cause a tear can cause from uh, falling or tripping okay now these are most often seen in weakened warriors typically middle-aged people participating in sp sports in their spare time okay less commonly Ill certain illness or medications such as steroids or certain antibiotics may weaken the tendon and contribute to ruptures so this is how the basic pathophysiology of Achilles tendon rupture is okay and the patient complains of sudden pain which feels like a kick or a stab in the back of the ankle of the calf which often subsides into a dull ache popping or snapping sensation this is true with most of the tendons or ligaments in the body they feel like a popping or snapping sensation so you just need to localize where the popping or the snapping sensation was okay swelling at the back of the leg between the heel and the calf <coughs> difficulty in walking especially upstairs or uphill and difficulty in rising up on the toes <coughs> okay so how do you diagnose an Achilles tendon rupture first is you start with the history any diagnosis you start with the history how and when the injury occurred your doctor or the surgeon will examine the foot and ankle and usually there will be a defect in the tendon that suggests a tear okay so you just feel for the tendon on the back of the heel and you feel for that defect and correlate with the history of the patient range of motion and muscle strength will be evaluated and compared to the uninjured side okay now if the Achilles tendon is ruptured the patient will have less strength in pushing down and will have difficulty raising the toes the diagnosis is typically straightforward and can be made through clinical examination and correlated with the history of the patient okay in some cases you may need an MRI or other advanced imaging tests ultrasound can be very useful in diagnosing these tears okay so non-surgical treatment include wrist and physiotherapy but we basically divide the treatments into surgical and non-surgical to decide whether we need to do surgery or non-surgical treatment is based on the severity of the rupture and patient's health status and activity level non-surgical treatment which is generally associated with a high rate of rupture is selected for minor ruptures less active patients and those with the medical conditions that prevent them from undergoing surgery non-surgical treatment involves use of a cast or walking boot or brace to restrict motion and allowing the tendon to heal physical therapy is important whether Achilles tendon is treated surgically or non-surgically physical therapy is an important component of the healing process physical therapy involves exercises that strengthen the muscles and improve range of motion in the foot and ankle okay so surgery surgery offers important potential benefits besides decreasing the likelihood of re-rupture the Achilles tendon 
by surgical means often increases the patient push off strength and improves muscle function and movement of the ankle various surgical techniques are available to repair the rupture the surgeon select the procedure best suited to the patient Following surgery, the foot and ankle are initially immobilized in a cast or a walking boot. The surgeon will determine this and will also determine when the patient can begin weight bearing. Complications such as incision healing difficulties or infection or re-rupture can happen after the surgery.